Hello guys, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to look at another example on statement of financial position and income statement. These were formerly called trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. This is our example. We are told that uh, the following trial balance of SeaWorld, from the following trial balance of SeaWorld, draw income statement and statement of financial position. As I was writing this question, I was giving where you post the information on the trial balance. We have said this in our previous video. Any item in the trial balance is posted once, either in the income statement or in the balance sheet. Any, st any information in the additional information is posted twice. In both in both income statement and statement of financial position. This is our income statement. It starts with SeaWorth, the name of the business is the first row. The second row, the name of the financial statement. The third row, the time frame. Take note, the time frame is for the year ended. I want you to be a pro in this. I want you to be an A student in this. Take note, for balance sheet or statement of financial position, we start with the name of the business, the first row. The second row, the name of the financial statement. The third row, the time frame. Take note, the time frame is as at. As at. This one is for the year ended because profit you do for a whole year. Status of our business, the net worth of our business is done at a particular time. That is when you can know the status or the net worth of our business at a particular juncture, at a particular time. But profit is for the year, for a certain period. So we say for the profit for the year. Then state, uh, statement of financial position is at a particular date. Let's go away to let's go straight away to our question. We know for income statement we start with the sales here. We start with sales. Sales are posted here. We have twenty eight thousand seven ninety four. We don't have sales returns, so we this is our sales. After we sold, we never nothing was returned to us. So this is our actual sales. So I can cross this to show I have posted that. Then I have, now I do cost of goods sold. Which we call C or GS. So we want to see what was the cost of these goods we actually sold. So before you sell goods, you must have purchased. So we look at purchase. How much did you purchase these goods? So we went to the market, purchased goods worth 23,803. But out of these goods, we have some closing stock that remained. We have some closing stock that remained here. I've posted additional information once now. 40, 41. So if, if you purchased goods worth the 23,803 and 41.63 remained. It means the difference is what you sold. So how much was the cost of the goods sold? Goods sold. I take this minus this. I can do that very fast. 23.8 23.803 23, minus 41.66. So that means my goods sold were worth 19,637. 19,637. So this is the amount of goods, the cost, what it costed me. What it costed me to sell these goods. So I sold them at 28, but it costed me 19,000. So the difference is the gross profit, 28,794 
minus their answer, the gross profit is 91.57. This is my gross profit. In our next example, we shall do a question where we adjust for opening stock. Make sure you watch it. You know how to adjust for opening stock. How you adjust for return. If you had made purchases and you return some goods, how do you adjust that? Uh, yes, so after that, in the other question, we, we shall do gross profit in the next illustration plus other incomes. For this question, we don't have other incomes. So we go straight to less expenses. So that is the column for gross, sorry, gross profit there. Then we have uh, less expenses. So for expenses, I started this one. Expenses are posted on the debit side of the trial balance. I started salaries and wages. Thirty-one sixty-four. I go to motor running expenses. Eleven thirty-three. I go to rent. Eight fifty-four. This rent is an expense because it is posted on the debit side of the travel balance. If it was on the credit side, it would mean it's an income. Then we have lighting and heating. Or 22. We have insurance. We know expenses are on the debit side, so it is easy to know which one is an expense. General expenses. General expenses five or six. So I have posted this, I've posted this, I've posted this, I've posted this, I've posted this. I've posted this. Uh, we have sundry expenses. Sundry expenses are small expenses paid through the petty cash book. So we have sundry expenses. These are incidental expenses. Sundry expenses fifteen hundred. We don't have any other expense. So we get the total of these expenses here and take the figure to the other side. Let me get the total. The total is 76.84. can take it straight here. So this minus this gives me my net profit. I can do using a calculator 91.57 minus 76.84. The answer is 14.73. That is my net profit. The answer is 1473. Once you get the net profit, you now go to the statement of financial position. With statement of financial position, we start with non-current assets. Non-current asset we know. We have buildings. Since we don't have depreciation, in our next example, we shall be doing um, an example with depreciation in, uh, I think, the next two examples. So since we don't have depreciation, we take this figure the way it is. Ulsa, post on this column, 50,000. Okay? So from this, we have 50,000. We have fixtures, 1,000. And we have motor van, 5,500. So we go to fixtures. We go to fixtures one thousand. Motorman.
The total of this is 56,500. This is where I would have posted my total. I can just keep that space, then I go to current assets. I go to current assets. Current assets are here. I can start with this one. I can start with the closing stock. I just call it stock. Forty one sixty six. Current assets appear on this column. Then we have cash in hand. Cash at bank. I have also seen we have debtors. Debtors are credit customers. So cash in hand is two thousand. Cash at bank is thirty eight. 47. Debtors, the figure for debtors is here. The figure for debtors is 31. Uh, 31. 31.66. The figure for debtors is 31.66. So we are done with the current assets. We can total this up. Let me get the total of that. 4166 plus 2000 plus 3847 plus 3166. The total is 13,179. 179. Now, from this total, we minus current liabilities. That is the total. And current liabilities we have creditors. Creditors. Creditors here is 46706. Liabilities are found on the credit side of the trial balance. And since it's the only current liability, then I have 13179 minus 4706. The answer here is 84. 73, which is what we call working capital. In other words, I'm saying working capital is given by current assets minus current liabilities. Current assets minus current liabilities. This is what we call the network format. Eh? So we have gotten this. I can take it this side, 8473. Then I get now what we call the network of the business. Network of the business is given by 56,500 plus 84. I get 64,973. I get 64,973. I get 64,973. After that, we go to financed by. A business is financed by capital and its earnings. I start with capital. Capital, I have 65,900 plus net profit. 1473 then I minus drawings I minus drawings 2400 what I get here should also be the same as the network because we don't have non-current liabilities we don't have non current liabilities. So what I get there should be equals to my network. So I take 65,900 plus 1473 
minus 2,400. The answer is 64,973. I'm saying whatever you get here is the network should be the same. This figure here should be the same as this figure here. This format is called the net worth format. The catch is here if you want to be an A student. Any information in the trial balance is posted once. Either here or here. Any information in the trial, in the additional information is posted twice. It is posted twice, both here and also here. If you utilize additional information twice, and the information the trial balance at least once, friends, colleagues, you will excel as a student. You will become pros in accounting. Thank you. Be blessed.